Welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're taking a look at Watershed Bourbon. This is their limited edition six-year age, which is their highest release to date, that's finished in apple brandy casks. So I mentioned it's six years old. It is barrel proof, so it's 120.8 proof. This is batch 02, and this is also non-chill filtered. Now, this was also done as a part to celebrate their 10-year anniversary. So this was distilled by them using their original five-grain mash bill of corn, wheat, rye, barley, and spelt. It was aged for four years in char number four oak barrels and then finished for 35 to 45 months in Watershed's own apple brandy casks. Oh, wow. It's a long time. Yep. And there's going to be just a little bit over 3,000 bottles that were made available and has a price tag of $90. All right. Interesting. Let's see. All right. Here it's we go. First five grain bourbon in an apple brandy cask. That's true. It's a first for us now. Yep. We have that. All right. Let's go ahead with the nose here. Uh, you get a little bit of apple brandy influence, but there's still some of that youth and grain. Yeah, you smell a lot of grains. Um, I get like a charcoal kind of, yeah, like a, it's a little smoky-ish. Yeah, it smells like I'm getting my grill going or something, you know, you just like the first, the, the first pellets that you, it's not, it's not like the clean burn, yeah. but it's still that kind of like that dirty burn. Is yeah, that the you're first thinking one, of? yeah. All right, I want the taste. There's a little bit of that apple brandy sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sugary, kind of rich sugary flavors. Still a bitter, bit, still bitter on the end. A lot of me. bitterness, a um, little smoke, a little like charcoal kind of for me. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of like of a, like borderline peated scotch kind of flavors, but I don't know. Um, it's interesting. It's different. Very, very smoky. Yeah. I exactly. think that's the, probably the best way to put it. Yeah. And you still, again, even on the taste, there's still a little bit of that grain forwardness there, but let's go ahead and rate it. On the nose, where are you at? Mm, I'm sideways on that. I, I kind of agree. It might just not be the, the nose and the taste for us, but what are you on the taste here? Uh, the taste, I'm like sideways. It's, I mean, there's some, I like the sugary sweetness of the apple brandy, but then mm -hmm. there's that like bitterness and uh there's some of that grainy taste that i'm just not a big fan of as a i like uh more sweetness to it and not as less smoky but somebody that likes grains and smoke this might be right up your alley yep uh and with the finish uh same sideways thing. same thing you know just for me it's not you know i really like that sugary flavors of the apple brandy but the bitterness and smokiness to me is just not for my palate i kind of agree um you know, there's definitely some other people out there like our good friend Fred Minnick that loves to have a grain forward taste. So, you know, always make sure that you try it before you buy it because sometimes your palate may not line up with ours. But hey, this is our review. So let us know what you think in the comments as well. But this is again the Whiskey Quickie for Watershed's six year 10th anniversary bottle that was finished in apple brandy casks. With that, cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.